space that I can find in my whole house. So here are my view cameras right here. I have uh, two right here, the cheapo camera, like the camera I used for like a few videos. It's actually trash. I just hit it against the wall. Who cares about it? The next camera is a Sony Cybershot, which I just retired. I'm still gonna make a a vid on it because I mean why not? There it goes and my vlogging camera, which is the Casio Excellent, which I'm going to keep, I'm not going to throw it at the wall this time. Yeah, check it out. And a new Canon Exist, which I'm using to record this video right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright guys, so the first video test we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is the video test. So, uh, this is the Canon Exist right here. Check it out, look at the quality, man. It's really good actually and let's check out the autofocus this isn't focus I think I'm too close for it to be unfocused but anyways yeah my desk is very messy after school and yeah this is basically the video test for the Canon Nexus the, our first contestant Alright guys, so we're now recording the video on the Casio Exilim, which is low battery because I had no chance to charge the battery right now. As you see, the uh, quality is significantly lower, although this is like literally five, five to six years older than the Canon Exilim, so I have to give it some credits for it. And the autofocus. Yep, the focus is pretty fast, I guess. And yeah, this is actually, this is like not nighttime yet. I'm taking it at the same time, so to make it more fair for every camera. Yeah, and it's a pretty good vlogging camera, although the quality isn't the best, but it's good for vlogging. Alright guys, we're going to use the most annoying camera out of all of them, the Sony Cybershot DHC-HX5. This is annoying is that it shoots at AVC HD, AVC HD. It's literally on the top of the camera. I don't know why Sony's proud of this because it just makes it a nightmare for every YouTuber to upload the video. But as you see, the quality is pretty good. I'm not autofocus. Yeah, there we go. That's autofocus. And yeah, like the zoom, on, there's actually a zoom on this camera, but it's very slow. Not sure if the Casio XM has a zoom, and I think the Sony Exis has a digital zoom that only goes up to four times. This actually goes up to ten times, but then uh, it's literally just like the quality literally sucks. And yeah, this is the shot. And something I figured out on this camera is that the video quality is a lot yellower. Like it just makes it yellow like make it just makes the yellow parts more yellow and it's sort of like like normal 2010 stuff so pretty good all right guys so this is the final camera that we're going to do it's the cheapo kids camera and as you see everything is zoomed in for a reason I'm a, yeah you see and when i'm holding this it seems like it's recording a 15 frames per second and there's no optical stabilization on this thing, so you're basically gonna give anyone a seizure if the video is, is over five minutes. Also, guys, I forgot to mention this in the video, but uh, this cheapo kids camera also makes a sound when I when there's nothing in the room. Like may, in the footage, you can also hear the sound. So what I'm gonna do is record on this cheapo camera in a room where there's literally nothing and. See if you guys can hear the sound. Okay now, so we're going to do the photo test.
Yeah, and this test, uh, the Sony Cybershot wins because the colors are a little bit more vivid than the Canon Nexus, which I'm using to record this video right now. And the cheapo camera, honestly, the lights are not that good and it's very dark. But the Casio X Slim is the true loser here because it absolutely disappoints. It like literally, there's so many lines across the the photo and the lights are and it's way too bright. So the last one is going to be user friendly test. So for me, definitely the Canon Exis, which I'm re using to record this. I've said this multiple times. I don't know why I keep on saying this. Definitely is the most user friendly because it when because it's. There's like this auto button which lets you uh, shoot photos with no problem and then when you shoot the video it's a dot MOV and then it's really user friendly you can like literally just slot it into uh, iMovie with no problem. Probably the second one is going to be the Casio X Slim because it's really easy to use although the file types are AVI files which are which is pretty old tech. And then what if it's AVI files, that means I have to use a file transformer uh, from AVI to MP4 in order to slot it into iMovie because macOS does not support AVI. The third is probably going to be uh, this cheapo camera because it's pretty uh, interesting in, to get the video. So for video, wait, let me turn it on right now. There you go. And... It's actually a bit annoying because it took me a bit of time because there's no instructions. So in order to get a video, you have to press this this button here, this button, which uh, is like a, there's like this photo sign. But then it actually brings you to a uh, video recording mode because there's like this uh, video recording thingy. And then after that, you can press it. It's very annoying for me. It took me a long time to understand this, so I'll give it a free. The third place in uh, user friendly is, and fourth place is the all and only Sony Cyber Shot. I absolutely hate this thing with uh, user friendliness because it shoots at APC HD. I'm still pissed about it. I am absolutely pissed. This thing literally sucks at user friendliness. So I'm gonna give it a fourth place in user friendliness. So. Scores are Canon XS1, second is Casio XLM, third is Cheapo Camera, and fourth is the Sony Cybershot. So yeah, my workplace is looking even more messy than before. So yeah, I'm going to end the video off here. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I got a lot of cleaning up to do.